Hello ladies and gentlemen, warm welcome, warm welcome to Sydney. You're at City Heroes and we're, you're watching Cue Ball TV um, and you're with myself, Jamie Williams, at this great game versus Anne Green uh, and, and Jennifer Budd. And you know what? I, I couldn't be in, the, in this commentary box with a better player than, well, take it away, Jono. Hi everybody, I'm Jono Kaleja. How's everyone doing? How are you, Jamie? I'm absolutely fantastic, Jono. Good to hear Good to hear. We've got a really good match with um, Jenny Budd and Ann Green. Well, they've already broken off, John. Yeah, well, we missed it. We just had um, yeah, a little excited. But, um, yeah, it should be a great match today. I'm looking forward to watching this. Did I take too long there, my friend? No, you did fine, mate. did fine. <laughs> Trying oh. to give a professional in intro there, and maybe it didn't work. Well, Jen's potted that one. Got the two on the uh, three. Maybe you played that a little bit too a little bit too hard. She would have liked to control the two ball a little bit more. But she does have a little safety she'll probably try to play, just snooker her opponent. And um, what do you think she'll do, Jamie? You know what? Possibly possibly screw off the side of this uh, uh, two. Well it's too late now to say that and try to hold and um, send the two away and hold the uh, white ball between this um, Orange and pink. Yeah, but I think, I think she, yeah, I think she just misplaced her speed a little bit there. Obviously, didn't want to leave her on. But there we go. Anne's got a tough shot to begin her final charge. Unlucky Anne. Um, I think she, if this blue holds up, she might have left herself. Yeah, maybe on. She might have left Jenny a little tough shot there on that too. Um, if it's Given her a bit of uh, luck, but it hasn't, unfortunately. Jenny's made that two quite easily into the bottom corner pocket. Now, I think Jan will be getting back to the table here. She's got a, she's got a nothing on the four except for a safety. She'll probably just try to play the four off one rail and leave it safe. Or go for the nine, actually. I didn't see that. Worth a shot. Left it fairly safe afterwards. Get in there for the kill, Jenny. And, and, and at the same time, she's left herself a snooker um, to Anne. Behind the nine. Yeah, a lot of people will say she got lucky then, but I mean, she played the nine knowing the white ball was going to stay there, sending the four away. You get a little bit of luck in this game. That's what it's, you know, it happens. No, you're quite right there, John. She, she did play to, you know, contact with the ball in that corner pocket. And so that was always going to stop the ball. Yeah, well, we've got two girls that are very, very, two women that are very, very experienced in finals um, history here today. I think a lot have been in plenty of finals in the past, Jamie. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, both, and, 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 and one finals, Jono. Um, it's not just, you know, not just good enough to get there, but good enough to win it as well. Jenny's won a few. Um, you know, I think she won uh, a couple of titles in 2010. Um, Oh, look at that, mate. Taking the nine out straight away. Oh, very nice. Straight away. A combo. One their luck, Jennifer. We'll see how this works out. Well, that's a great break by Anne. You don't see that much, um, very much in nine ball. You see a lot of people breaking from the side. But um, Anne, straight from the middle, wing ball straight in. Um, shot on though. She can see the one. She doesn't have a shot on it. But she'll be trying to play a little sneaker here. Something that Anne will be very good at. Plenty of experience in snooker. Absolutely, she's played a lot of snooker, um, and and with Jen over the years as well. Um, so I understand. She's um, looks like she's going to play a delicate shot off the side of this one to go behind the nine. I don't. She hasn't quite done that. Um, left Jenny an open shot. Possible play this in the middle of pocket, John. Screw back a bit or play into the top pocket and go off the cushion back out for the, uh, for the two. Well, she can miss a five. I like, the, I like playing bottom rails, but just rolls this in nicely, perfectly on the two. Very straightforward for the next couple of balls. I think she's got the five on the other end of the table. She's just got to leave herself some angle, see how she goes. That's a good shot there by Jen. She's confidently just... Banged that two ball into the uh, corner pocket, leaving herself this nice three ball. She's she's gonna be a little bit mad at herself for that, I think. Yeah, I think she will be. Pretty textbook textbook routine um, shot into the middle pocket there, mate, and she's just uh, 
left down back at the table with a with a shot back at this three. Now here's the dumb. These players have actually played in a final in the past as well, Jamie. Um, they played in a snooker title where and defeated um, Jamie. Absolutely. And um, two I very good players coming together again. No, two. Right. I think they have played together a lot over the years um, and have a really. Uh, a really good understanding of each other's play and um, a mutual respect as friends, you know. So it's always tough when, yeah, it's kind of like me playing you, mate, you know, it's in a final. It's always tough when people come together like that. You've, you've known each other for years. Um, it's very, because it, I know what you mean, because it can get like that between players where, it's, you know, some people find it hard to play against friends and things like that, but you've really got to push past it and say, well, you know what, I'm here to win and this is what I'm going to do. and. You never play the play, always play the table, as they say. Absolutely. Now she hit that, uh, Jenny hit that three onto the nine. I don't know if she actually went for the combo then or went for the pop, but she contacted the nine as she hit that three. Um, Anne's played that three away. Um, and looked, a good distance. She looked like she might, yeah, she has done it. Got a lovely snooker behind that uh, brown ball there. Um, is it the seven? Um, yeah, seven. Jen's going for the up and down option rather than off the side rail. She probably can't see enough of the side rail. She's got it. Whoa. She's got it. And she's left Anne on here. Well, let's see what they let's see what she does here, but she'll probably look at it playing the combo. Maybe take this seven off two rails or up, straighten down, leave the five nine combination. It's probably quite hard to get on the um to get on the five ball here, but she has a chance of it. And I'd be playing this hard for it just in case of a miss. Because this is not an easy shot. I know the nine's almost over the pocket, but these shots are very, very messable and very, very hard. I would I, I, I would almost play the in off here. If the nine wasn't there, just play to pop the white in the pocket and just pop the nine. Um, let's see what she does. Well, it's unlucky. See, and, oh. and that's the danger of playing those shots. And that's why you have to hit them hard and... Because it's either going in or it goes out. It's, you can't do that because that just it costs frames. No, absolutely, John. Absolutely. I mean, she's not happy there. She just banged the cue on the table a bit out of frustration there. Jen's probably just going to tap this in, which she does. Yeah. And, um, you know, she's taking it to 2-2. Two -two. Uh, sorry, 2-0. Well, Anne's very experienced. You know, she's, she's played in a lot. She's been to Vegas and played in many tournaments. You know, she'll just settle herself down. I'm sure she'll come all right. But it's not too easy when you got a player like Jenny ready to take the table away from you. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. She's a um, she's a school teacher, and is and um, and her daughter's actually really good at pool as well. Her daughter's played competitively. She doesn't. I don't think she plays anymore. But um, Jen really knows her daughter as well, and they've played together. Um, I know that Anne and Jen have got a great mutual respect together, and and are, are good friends as well as. Um, um, competitors against each other. Absolutely. Because I always think they meet in, all, in, you know, not just finals, obviously, there's only played in a couple probably, but, you know, in plenty of tournaments. These two are you know, one of the better two players. Oh, might have fluked on there. She has, but that's a beauty of nine ball as well, John. You know, you can do that. Um, but then she goes for this two. She didn't so leave her too much on anyway. No. Not Kicks an away with it, yeah, just to get some distance between the walls. And she's just left it on for Jenny. Unlucky Jen, she had a clear shot of that there. Um, she could have fluked it in, no. She yeah, she's left was, it sneaking. She was in the way a bit there, I thought that might have cruised in, but... Possible chance for a jump shot. I don't know if I've ever seen Anne play a jump shot um, while I've been watching these ladies play in John, my time. You know, I haven't even seen Jen play a jump shot, to be honest. Yeah. Um, you know what? I think it... Nice shot. Nice shot. I think it might be the snooker in them. Um, yeah, I agree. I mean, I play with Sean, and Sean's obviously a snooker player. And um, when we play in the league... Did that blue touch the cushion? No, no it, so didn't. it didn't look like it did, but it can be hard to tell. And <laughs> look at this, a 2-9 combination to take it to 3-0. 
And I think snooker players often are not used to the jump shots. They're used to um, using the tactics of coming off rails. Yeah. And, you know, each to their own, I suppose. I think everyone's got a way they prefer to do it. We go 3 0. But um, I, I just think a jump shot that everyone should have it in its arsenal. You know, game of pool, it just comes in so handy. And you can be quite accurate with it also. Now, if you actually sit down with a jump cue and spend a good hour trying to learn it, and you'll figure out that it's actually quite an effective shot to play. To get out of get out of trouble, leave safeties and snookers and pop balls. Absolutely. So Anne's just broke there. Potted the white in the bottom uh, right hand pocket as we look at it. Um, left Jen straight away with the ball in hand. She's not having the luck of the uh, run of the table at the moment, John. No, well that's um, that's three nil on combinations, Jamie. Mm. One off the ball in hand, one off the nine sitting over the pocket and the first frame. Absolutely. That I missed, actually. That was just quick. I wonder if that's ever been happening, a, a, a final one on combinations alone in my ball. I'd like to think not, because that would be a very unhappy man or woman. No, of course. Definitely. Definitely. Jensen in that two ball in there, pulling the white back a little bit. Uh, she's giving herself a little angle on this three. That she can... She wants to avoid this nine ball, I reckon. Just uh, screw a bit. She might be able to sort of hold by using the nine, but I'd like the, your idea of sort of screwing up and going to the side rail to the left. Yeah. She's used it, it and right? she's got a little bit of luck by the double kiss as well. She might say that was planned. But we wouldn't believe you, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, a good snooker player. Jenny started playing snooker when she was only 17, and she won a couple of under-21s titles um, two years in a row. That's um, fantastic. When she, was, uh, when she was only, you know, 18 and 19. Um, and, um, and also, I think um, Jenny's won it, really won a state... Uh, nine ball championship and that was against Kerry Chan. She did. So she's no stranger to this, to this um, kind of situation, John. Yeah. There's a long weekend of pool and last match of the day and it's, you know, it can get to you. You're standing up waiting all the time and playing your games. It can be quite tiring, so more experience the better in these situations, I say. Absolutely. You hear the saying, you got to lose a final to win a final. And these two ladies have done both. <laughs> two right, two right. I think she might have um, wished she'd have potted that ball there. <laughs> She's left Anne a chance here, and Anne's going to want to take this fighting chance. Um, I'm not sure if she's going to have the angles. She might have the angles to come off three cushions to come back for the six. I think she can come off three cushions. Uh, here we go, one, two. Maybe a little, little bit soft. harder would have been good um, to come back, but it's durable. And she's good enough to do this. Very tough shot to make it and get position as well, but she's played a oh, or a double. I was going to say, even better. She's not just cut it in, but Ooh. she's doubled it. And look at this. That nine ball has just sat over the pocket. Let's see if Jenny can capitalise here. Well, in a situation like this, I don't think I'd be taking a shot of the nine ball. Just run out your last four balls. Just need to land good on the seven. Yeah, yeah. And she might have to take the combination. I'm kind of feeling a little bit um, sorry for Anne on her side, but she just left Jenny unluckily from going, for going, you know, going for a few shots. She just left her totally on, you know, and she's really going to be kicking herself for that. Um, she's left Jenny a few tap-ins, and, and it's going to take this. Um, I think this is anything but a tap-in. It's not the easiest of shots. Not this shot, but the shot that she uh, she was on to get to that. Um, you know, to yeah. this looks like a combo if I ever did see one. Screw off the bottom side of this seven. Yeah, she's got the wide on the rail though. She's going to need to jack up the queue. It's not all that straightforward. What can go wrong? But see how she goes. Nice smooth stroke will do it. And that was meant. A little bit hit it too well, I think. Unlucky Anne. Totally was going for the shot that I um, was thinking of there, and it was the right shot to go for. And she's just left herself a little bit short of the uh, nine ball to knock it in. But again, left Jenny a shot that's doable. Jenny 
Jen's not got it. Left hand back at the table, but again, it's not a tough, uh, not an easy, excuse me, shot. Um, a possible double if you can avoid the double kiss. But it is sending the white ball away from the nine, so she'll need a hold for that also. Last thing she wants to do is play that seven over the pocket. Absolutely. Maybe play a lot of side off the side of the seven, try and pop the nine at the same time. Well, that's not happened. She's left Jenny on again. Um, now Jenny needs to take this because if she's just three 0 up. If she takes a four 0 lead, she'll let it. You know, she'll let her let her arm go, and she'll be feeling in the groove and ready to go. And Jenny's a really hard lady to stop when she's in the lead. Well, she's done that. She's played mm. it up and down though in the middle. She's not played to the side. Um, well, I don't think she was playing for it, but I think she's going to have to take a double combination from this eight ball into the nine. I think that's. The Best option now, John. You're right. And done. Well, the combination queen is jumping to mind right now, John. Yeah, well, that's, that's four frames in a row from combinations. I'll tell you what, the combinations are not easy to get, but like you said, you know, she's been left in very good positions to get them, like a ball in hand and you know, a few chances. Nine yep. ball over the pockets. Absolutely. Yeah, Anne won't be too happy about that, but she really does need to settle herself and try to get back into this match. Absolutely. Because at the moment, Jenny's running away from it. She is. Here we go, Anne. There's a nice shot down the uh, cushion here. Bring the white back. Or stop shot. Again, she's not got it, and it's a straightforward pop into the middle for Jen to just take this white forward a little bit for the two ball into the corner. It's uh, Anne Green with envy at the moment uh, because most of the table time has gone down to Jennifer Bud. Mm, that, can, that can be quite hard for a <laughs> little so, play on words there with the two uh, two names. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, let's see what Jenny can do here. If she can run away with it. And then that's what I was just about to say. It's quite hard for... I think, it, you know, Jenny's obviously had most of the table time, as you said, Jamie. But, you know, the other, if you're the other player just sitting in that chair, it's hard to stay warm and stay focused. Some people struggle with it. Some people do it better than others. And... Either way, it's not an easy thing to do to just sit down and be able to come back and just perform. No, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I think like she's um, having a hit for now. She's looking pretty happy and confident um, with these last few balls she's played. I almost think Anne should start. Um, well, she's let Anne in here. Come on, Anne. Come on. You can do this. She can do this. This is um, a durable shot. I was going to say something else but I'll leave it to later. Beautiful, beautiful. Left herself a little bit short in this black. She's going to have to go around the table if she wants to get back to this nine. Unless she's going to do a bank. What do you think? Yeah, well I think if she can cut it with the one on the left she might be able to miss that um, top pocket and hit the short rail and come back around but you, yeah, it was obviously too much angle to do what I was saying. She left herself a hard nine, which is, you know, just, she has to go for it. She's got no other option. It would be very hard to play safe off this. And she will definitely go for it. She needs to get one on the board. Ooh. And she's scratched on the white ball. She's scratched on the nine. Jen's got ball in hand, and she's just going to tap this into the pocket. It's going to be 5 0, Jono. I think uh, the times that we've commentated, me and you, this is going to be uh, this is going to be one of the quickest that we've uh, sat down and done this. Well, the, the, the way it's looking so far, we've had combination after combination, and now we're going on to the sixth frame. Because I'd really like to see come back from Anne Green. Absolutely. Like I said I've, I've seen her play a few times. I've actually seen her play in Vegas, Jamie, and you know, she performed brilliantly. You know, you see these players playing under the immense pressure and. 
you know, she'll be feeling the pinch a little bit here, but I'm sure she's, you know, been in a lot of other situations that probably felt a lot more than what she's feeling now. I understand. I mean, she just needs to settle down and, you know, not let Jenny run away with it and just start feeling more and more comfortable. I wonder if she's, um, um, it's a little bit off the subject, John, but I wonder if she's wearing a green top because her name's Anne Green and that's kind of um, superstition. You know how, like, Dave Weldrick wears sunglasses on his head when he plays, always? Um, you know? Yeah, I, I'm possibly, quite possibly. I think a lot of players have different sort of superstitions about, you know, what they like to wear or what they like to say to themselves or, you know, what they do when they sit down or they wipe the cue. could be anything. It could be wiping hands. Um, so, oh, I mean, I wouldn't put it past. I mean, we'll have to do an interview with the next time she's playing in the final or another tournament. Absolutely. It's a good shot there by Jen. She's put that three totally safe behind all these balls. But again, they're both snooker players. So Anne knows exactly what she's going to be looking for to get out of this. I think she's going to try to kick on this from the bottom. Oh, she's got to look just a little bit She too. did, she did. She nearly got that, mate. Jen, she gets some distance between them, she Jen, quickly picking up the right there and she's going to clear and, and looking like she's going to get down to action. Um, you know, but, I mean, mentioning Dave Weldrick, you know, um, Dave Weldrick came from five frames behind recently to win this same event in the men's title. Yeah. And you never know, you know. Yeah, that's you right, never exactly. know. Exactly. It can be done. Well, it's not an easy snooker to get out of here. I think she can't go to the left-hand side and it looks like she'll have to go to the right. But that seven takes away a lot from that ball and this will be the second foul if she can't hit it. Well, John, this is the kind of shot I'd be getting my jump cue out for, to be honest. Um, but she's going off the Definitely. rail. Being a snooker player, she's going off the rail. Or the cushion, as we would say in snooker. Oh, she's got it. fantastic hit. She's unfortunately left her on, but that's a great hit. That was an easy snooker to get out of. I think she had to play that with a little bit of left just to kick it a little bit towards her off that rail. It was a good shot by Anne. Very good shot. Good shot. But, um... You know, she's won snoo uh, she's won a state title in the past, or, or state titles in the past. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how many she's won. You know, she's done it. Um, Who's that then? Uh, Anne Green. Yeah. Yeah, very seasoned player, Anne Green. Played in a lot of different sorts of tournaments, snooker, pool, you know, everything. Been to Vegas a few times, I think. I remember Jen telling me about um, when Anne beat her in the... Uh, in the 2010 state title, oh uh, sorry, snooker title, and um, Jen was behind. Um, and uh, sorry, or and, uh, so Jen was ahead, and Anne ended up winning it. Um, I remember Jenny telling me, that, telling me of her frustration of that uh, uh, game. Well, so, I'll tell you no. what, then that one, that would be playing in Jenny's head at the moment. If she's got a decent lead on this, she'll know not to sort of relax it up, especially if Anne's came back in the past. And something like that will give Anne extra motivation. She'll be looking back at that time and saying, well, I've done it before and I'm going to do it again. No, you're right there, mate. Definitely, definitely right. And I think it's definitely a good bit of motivation for yourself when you can, uh, you can tell yourself, I've done this before and I can do it again. So Anne's going for that three, she, uh, sorry, for the green ball. Um, she's got it, but she's scratched again, which she's not had the run of luck in this uh, match so far, far, has she, John? Yeah, it was always a tough angle. She was always going in that direction. She just had to make sure that she hit that short rail, I think, try to pop back up. But yeah, no, you're definitely right. She definitely hasn't had the run of balls at all. And Jenny's been left with a, you know, so finishes like these, are, I'm not saying they're easy or anything like that, because there you can see a mistake by Jenny. She's left that a little bit too straight. She has. But um, I'd definitely be liking ball in hand with the last three or four to go, rather than, you know, being snooking and have to come out and rely on a little bit of luck. And Definitely, John, definitely. Um, Jenny won't be very happy about that shot, though. She's not. She's. Um, I wouldn't either. She's left herself really straight on this. Unless there's a tiny angle which she can play it with a lot of force, but she hasn't done that. Um, she just left herself a hard shot. There was no angle on that ball. This is like the, risk missing it. kind of the shot that Anne left herself a couple of frames before, where she had to cut this nine into the corner, and, and unfortunately she missed it. 
Um, a bit look, harder being close to the rail. Let's see how Jen gets on with this. She's not been successful. Can she leave Anne on? You know what? She's not left Anne the shots that Anne's left her. Yeah. And and there's the same element of luck in there. Anne's been very unlucky so far. I think she might be able to cut this. I'd back in and pop this with a small cut. Or a thin cut. Excuse me. She can cut it. She can bank it. Um, or double it. As um, it's known in uh, Paul in Melbourne or snooker. Safe. Safe. Not a bad one as well. She's forced in for a, a double in the middle or another safety as well. But I mean, if you're 5 0 up, I'd be going for the double. I think I will be as well, John. But um, she's playing a bit of screw on this. Keeping the white there. She's missed it, but she's left it safe. Oh, that's, you know, it's a good leave to leave someone. You don't want to be walking to the table in the nine ball with that shot. Hard to play safe from, it's hard to sort of slow down the white ball. They're going to be coming up together. Absolutely. I think Lady Luck is falling on Jen's uh, side today. and has got a little double kiss there and she's left the back on, unfortunately. As good a player as Anne is, she's great. It's not been her best day, I think, so far. Here we have it, 6-0. See if Anne can mount a comeback from here. Definitely a fighter. Absolutely. She's taking the break out there. Left hand, probably a push out shot here. And she might even be able to see this one ball, Jamie. Just um, clarify the rules as you know them there, John. Are you so you for the push out? Well, she's just done. She's just answered my question. Um, you you can still play a push out even if you're not totally sneaky. Yeah, that's correct. I, I, I believe even if you are, if you can totally see the 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 first the smallest one on the table, you can still call a push out. And for those people that don't know, a push out is when you say a push out to your opponent and you can push the white ball anywhere or put another ball and that ball will stay down unless it's a nine where it'll come back out. And then the player coming to the table have the option either to take it on themselves or pass it back to that player who's done the push out. It's a very tactical thing. I think always the person coming to the table with the option has the advantage um, because they can say, well, it might be too hard of a shot. She's gone in off there from a beautiful snooker that Jen, Jen left her in. Jen played off the side of that one, left her beautifully behind this nine and beside the pink ball. Um, and um, she's gone for the one, gone in off. And, you know, both women with a snooker background, it's nice to see them playing these lovely snooker shots that they're doing. Um, and having played so much snooker, Jen, well, she's married, she's married to Sean Budden. Need I say more? Um, I see Jen done contemplating the snooker, but realising that's definitely not the best option and running these balls will be the best because they're all out in the open and she's backing herself to do it. And let's see if she can continue on this streak of frames in a row and take it to seven. Well, she's got this two in the middle pocket. She doesn't want to drift away from this. She wants to put a bit of screw on this. She's going for a safety. She's left hand on, I think, possibly. Um, I would have played that blue into the middle pocket with a bit of screw and left myself yeah. on for that three. But um, I can't say because, you know, we're on this side of the table, John. And, yeah, but, that's but, right. But that looked on for me to pop that and bring it back, um, you know, on the top side of the left middle pocket and leave yourself on for the three. But... Um, yeah, I think that was a little bit of a tactical error there by Jen. Because those balls were definitely all the way up and should be running, trying to run those racks. There we go, come on in. Get in there, get in there. Just cruise that two in, left herself a tight cut, it's doable. 
taking a look, having a second think about that and getting back up and um, yeah, it's good to see as well she's trying to compose herself and get it straight back into the spring oh what an unlucky I thought that was in still has done anything easy at least no she hasn't she hasn't luck fallen uh, a little bit more on her side than it has in the previous shots right there I think Jen might go the up and down. If she has. Oh, she's caught the edge of the middle pocket. With a knuckle. Well, let's hope some of the unluckiness that you've had, Anne, um, comes right back to you now, mate. Because uh, Jenny's just kind of played the shot. Being a bit unlucky there that you've played in, played in the past. And I hope that you can capitalise on this and, uh, and run these balls out. That's a nice shot. Just getting down for the pink ball. Just going to cruise this gently into the corner pocket, hopefully. Ooh. I think Speed killed that one a little bit, Jamie. He may have even had to swerve a touch to pop that, because it didn't look like it was clearly on. I mean, I might be mistaken half to say from here, but... I can't see very many reasons why she'd have to play it that hard. Well, Jen's missed it as well, John. It's a difficult shot when the when the when you're playing a long shot like that with such a tight cut like she did, and the ball is on the cushion when you're shooting it. Very difficult. Yeah, no, definitely not easy. And clips the ball, but she's brought it back all the way. Hopefully, she can bounce land behind the nine. I think she might have. Yeah, I don't think she can clearly see this four ball. Here's some of your luck, um, some of the luck coming back to you now, Anne. Let's see if Jenny can make some distance between these balls. She might have done that. Get a shot. And that's a very nice shot. Very nice shot. That's the thing when you snook it in nine ball. You know, that's the, really, if you can't kick it in, you've got to try kick for distance. And that's exactly what she's done, and she has done that. And, and got the four where she wanted, but has left it on. Unfortunately, was very unlucky for her to see that there. Bad shot either, John. No, that was a great shot. What a shot, Anne. That was an absolutely fantastic shot. She just got between the black and the green, clipped it, and then up and down and left herself a um, Jenny in a snooker here. This is, uh, you know, some, some marvellous play between snooker players here. I'd be very proud of myself with the shot that Andrew's played. Absolutely proud of myself. Yeah, well, I mean, we say snooker players, but I mean, these players have probably started at snooker, but I mean, really, they've been a lot in the pool scene for, you know, don't really know, but quite a long time. A very long time. Well, well, I think gone she for went for that combo, but she's left herself safe at the same time. Sort of a shot to nothing there, Jamie. It's interesting. Watching these two play, um, and watching other women play that leave each other on all the time. But these two in a tactical battle in this game um, are really closing down every door for each other. Um, and it's very interesting to watch. And this might be one of those frames. Oh, oh what a <laughs> shot. That was a fantastic shot. And I was just about to say that this is one of those frames that, you know, it's gone on for quite a few minutes so far, at least five minutes. The longest frame, frame in the match. This one could be the deciding frame. Um, you know, these are the ones that battle. You really want to win these ones. Again, Jen leaving herself a little bit lucky there. Um, she's not left hand on. She's played that. Didn't get it. And it's gone a double. Got the kick off the um, corner of the uh, middle pocket. And unfortunately, she's left Jen on here. Um, what do you think she might do here, everybody? Yeah, well, I think she she probably can play up the top row and try to come back or try to get ready for the combination. I think she's tried to sneak between the seven and the six and just played a little bit too soft. She might have a, a possible opportunity to go for the nine. I think she might clip into the side of this and try and leave a sneaker, which she's done. Not quite. But yeah, she's I think she can on it. just see the the six ball. Might be hard to keep this safe. She might be trying to play the six off the seven, 
to send the six to the bottom rail and the white maybe back up the top, but very difficult shot. A little bit harder than that. I think that seven ball would have gone in the way of the uh, six. It's not. It's left Jen on. Jen's getting down straight away, nice and confidently. Wants to pop this one. Roll it in, and she's done that beautifully. Still got a bit of angle to come back up for the eight ball in the middle. Bit of screw or off the cushion? I yeah. think off the cushion. Yeah, off the cushion. Nice. Played confidently. Ooh, just missing that middle. I thought it was going to miss it by a fair bit, but for a second I did too there, John. Just roll this in comfortably. And land on the 9 and take it to 7 nil. Well, Anne, as a teacher at school, is not going to be telling her students about this one, I don't think. Um, and I'm sorry to say that, Anne got the greatest respect for you. You're down quite a bit though, and it's um, it's not one of the best days, as I said earlier. And here's Anne, about to break off. Now, and she hadn't potted a ball. That four ball came very, very close to going in, but still a bit of a cluster in this one, Jane. This might be another long frame. And she's not left the one on easily for Jen here. Um, I think a snooker shot, nice snooker shot, cruise off the side of that one and leave the uh, white behind. Well, I needn't even say it wasn't what I was thinking. But, um. And a little bit bridging over that. She might have left Jen safe. No, no, she left it on. A very awkward queuing on that shot. It was. I thought that one ball was going to bounce a little bit more there, John. I would land in the middle of the uh, ball cushion, but it didn't. Jen bridges over. Has a go at this and gets it nicely. That's a really nice shot. Played well. A little bit of screw back to take this out to about the centre of the table, or maybe even off a cushion, which she does. A little bit too firm. I think so. But still, she's got it. Yeah, she can see it. She had a big margin of error on that one, and I think she knew it. Yeah. Jennifer, laughing to herself there, having a good chuckle. Well, you can when you're 7 0 up. Can't exactly, you? I was just about to say that, Jamie. 7 0 up. I mean, obviously, you want to finish it, but you can sort of laugh that off and just definitely try not to make that mistake again. Absolutely. And uh, not laughing at all, mm. on the other hand. Pots is three ball. Needing to capitalise on this if she wants to have any sort of chance in this match. As I say, it's a race to nine. Um, as you can see on the bottom of your screen. Jenny's only two frames away at the moment. Um, and oh. will not be happy there. Played that very firm. Hasn't got the desired um, position, I think, but I suspect she might play a little safety here, Jamie. What do you think? I wouldn't bet against it. Who knows? I mean, she's that far ahead. She might just go for this. She did, I think. In the middle pocket. Didn't mm. get it. Left a very hard shot. It's not, not easy at all. Um, do you think, Jono, that it makes it any easier that they're friends? What's that? that being beaten um, uh, and being beaten, um, you know, uh, yeah. si significantly in a game. I mean, if I won, it, if I lost to you, I won. I, I would not go home happy, even though we're both sitting here. Yeah, and, yeah, then and, of course. Uh, I mean, I, I really think you need to sort of push that, push the friendship aside when you come to tournaments and things like this, because you know you can't be thinking, oh well, you know, at least if you know if you're seven 0 down, you can't be thinking, well, at least I'm losing to my friend. You can't be thinking about that at all. Absolutely. Because if you're thinking that, you're going to lose, and I'd highly doubt that Anne would be thinking that. Yep. Um, because because she's not the type of player to do it. I've known Anne for a while, and and you can see she's definitely got fight in her. 
Um, I must say this, you know, me and you, we're good friends. We're sitting uh, together doing commentary. We go to parties. Um, we hang out on the weekends. But if I lost 9 1 to you, John, I would not be bloody happy. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be happy at all. I'd go home feeling very unhappy. I'd be wrapped, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be absolutely wrapped. I bet you would. Well, she's just potted that ball there and left herself a nice, nice nine here. Middle pocket. Come on, Anne. Here's your game. Let this lift you. Oh, oh Anne. Oh, and the nine ball's well, it's not right easy. In the At of the least table. she's not left it easy. Jen's getting down to this one. She's going to want to make sure this one goes in. You know what? Even if she does not, John, even if it doesn't go in, which it hasn't, and she's left hand on by the looks of things in the top pocket. Um, here's Anne's frame. Come on, Anne. Get in there. For 7-1. It's in. Come on, man. You should come back from this. It could be a Dave Relgic or more. Oh, Dave Relgic special. Or an And the Machine Green special. I think that once, um, uh, quite a while ago, I think I commentated on a female state title. It was me and Barry the Mule Mavros. Absolutely. And he was, Great um, commentator, I might add there, yeah, John. Yeah, very good. Uh, we were commentating on Annette Clifford and Anne Green and... We're trying to think of nicknames. I think he came up with Anne the Machine Green. Oh, absolutely. Well, the machine's missing today. I'm sorry, Anne. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not being cruel, though. Um, she's she's not having her day. I'm, no, I, I think she'd sell you that as well. You know, this is definitely... I've seen Anne play a lot better, and hopefully she can still turn it around. She's, I mean, she's taking the first frame. Who knows? No, two right. It's only two right. one she's game it. away from the... Another frame. She's an absolute quality player because she wouldn't have consistently been in this kind of position if she wasn't. Um, you know, she's won state titles. She's won female snooker titles. She's very unlucky there to not get that one. Did she just clip it there, John? Do you think? No, I don't think she did. Um, and and um, you know, she's you know, it's not it's not like um, she's some unknown that's um, has just found herself here. No, she's been in this position several times. She's a very very good player. Yeah, I think she's a quite a feared player in the in the female tournaments. You know, like people Absolutely. do not want to come up against her unless they want a learning experience. Too right. Too right. A very well respected player in the in the pool community. Absolutely, and I know Jen respects her and loves her to death. You yeah. know, um, and so I think she's just having a very bad day today. You know, I think that's that's simply what it's about. Well, you know, it's not too bad. I mean, she did make the final after all. Oh, absolutely. I suppose. Maybe she's just played better finals in the past. Well, yeah, exactly. She's just having a bad final compared to what she's played. You know, or um, maybe it's. Um, I, you know, I've played well before and then ended up playing you, Jono, being a good mate of mine and ended up playing crap against you. <laughs> um, maybe it's playing your mates, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, that's a, it's really, you're as good as your excuse, I suppose. It's just, we'll see how, you know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, I'm so joking. I'm so joking. I don't even know what you're referring to, Jamie. That's just playing. I've played very well before and then played you and played crap. Oh. Uh, maybe these what these guys are doing, you know? They're, they're very good friends. Um, maybe me and you ain't such good friends then, Jono. Oh, mate. Uh, please don't say that. You bring that, a tear to my eye. Oh, forget it, Jono, yeah? <laughs> and here comes the combination, Queen. Oh, she's done it again. <laughs> she's done it again. Jenny, you combination queen S. <laughs> 
One frame away, Jenny is now on the hill. I think she's on the hill looking at a good view of the city here. <laughs> yeah, I think um, she's got water views as well, Jamie. <laughs> she's got a mansion with the, uh, you know, a, she's got a top property with real estate, top prices, um, with the best view of the uh, water from the hill that she's on. It's not easy, this one. She can get it. She can get it. Down that cushion. Or in the middle if she really wanted to. If it was Sean. Sean. If there was nothing else on, would probably pop that in the middle pocket there. Yeah, I think she's um, just spraying the cue at the, at the wild ball. She missed that by quite a fair bit. I think she's starting to feel very, very comfortable. So, uh, you know what, John? I think sometimes it might be easy to just throw the cue at the ball. Um, oh, lucky. Uh, and there. She's gone in off. She's left Jenny, obviously, ball in hand. Jen's going to run away with this as best she can. But I think when somebody's 8-1 ahead of you, or you're 8-1 ahead of them, you can just find yourself yeah. doing that. And that's all. it's kind of not good to do because they can come back and... Yeah, I agree 100%. Suddenly I mean, you find it's 8-4. Like you know? I mean, if you're the person that's down 8-1 and you want to try to start throwing the... the the cure of the ball just to try to loosen up hey look if it has, if nothing's worked yet maybe it is worth trying something but um the last thing you want to do in any leading position is get complacent Absolutely. because that's how comebacks come well, she just that makes sense doesn't it no 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 of yeah. course of course you get complacent and yeah. um, and then next thing you know it's 8-2 and 8-3 um, and, and you've got yourself into that complacent mode and you can't get yourself back out of it but the next thing you know it's 8-5 They've got their confidence together to win the next three games. It's eight eight again. Yeah, you know what I mean? And you know, we've seen it happen before. You know, we've seen big comebacks happen before. And, Absolutely. You know, tournaments that we've that we've watched in Sydney and Too around right. Australia and professional tournaments. It happens yep. to everyone. So never count anyone out. No, two right. Big comebacks. Uh, you know, they they are completely possible. We don't have to mention Dave's name. Um, oh, did I? Sorry. Yeah. But they are totally possible, John. Anyway, all jokes aside, back to business. It's been quite a very quick final so far, hasn't it? Or yeah, it's definitely so. not over yet, but I mean, it's been walking through. It's been under an hour, easy. Jen just played what she could see of that um, one there. I think she put a bit of score on it to avoid the in-off. Um, and has left Anne a... Long but straightforward shot into this top pocket. Um, and probably going to play with a bit of top coming around. She's not played as hard as what she might have wanted to do, or, but she's got it. There's a combo on um, on this pink ball onto the uh, onto the orange. Um, I'll just check my nine ball walls here, John. It is a pink that she has to hit next, isn't it? Yeah, it's a four ball. Oh. She's done it. Oh, oh come on, Anne! It's you been know the other day, and I tell you what, this is quite fitting. Look how it's look how it's left, Jamie. And I oh, seriously, mate, I want to take you out and buy you a beer because you've been very, very unlucky in this match. Um, and this is a bad way to lose. This Jen's putting the the white ball behind this pink. She's going to hit it straight onto the nine instead of running them out. I think this is going to be probably the fifth or sixth frame. There was a combination in this was final. It? That's going to be some sort of record in itself, isn't I it? I think so, John. But this is not only that. It's going to be the quickest ever race to nine, and she's got it. And there it is. And um, congratulations to Jenny Budge. She's the New South Wales Nine Ball State Champion. Congratulations, Jenny. Very unlucky to Anne. Um, and thank you, everyone at home, for watching the, the female state titles. Thank you very much, guys. And thank you very much, Jamie, for commentating with me. Thank you, Jono. Goodbye. Always a pleasure. Thanks, guys. See you later.